Hi everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to paint a lava base. So this is an old base I painted a while back. I, I'm not too happy with it, so I want to paint over it and make it hotter and brighter and a bit more realistic. So first off, Troll Slayer Orange. You don't have to be too clean. Uh, you, I didn't thin my paint too much, I just uh, slapped it on and made it nice and thick just to cover the uh, old paint job. So now, Avalon Sunset, this is going to be the darker yellow. And now I'm just drawing the um, lighter areas. Usually it's round the corners for me. But here you can draw like a stream of lava, like it's moving around, like it's liquid, which it is. <laughs> um, you don't have to be too clean, you're just playing with it, sp spreading it around. Uriel yellow, this is a brighter yellow now. Um, this is quite thick, as you can see. I haven't added any water. And I'm just working it around the corners. And you could say halfway, um, halfway, uh, so you see the Avalyn sunset. It doesn't cover it completely, just covers it halfway. And at the same time, I'm actually blending it. I'm wet blending the bright yellow and the darker yellow. See here, I'm just blending it just to build up a nice gradient. So as time goes on it dries a bit and when it dries a bit I add more Euro yellow on the corners just to make it even brighter. Now wet blending. So just get some water on your brush and what you're going to do is you're going to um, the Troll Slayer orange and the yellow where they meet you're going to just use a bit of water and mix the colors together along those lines just so you get a nice um, from orange to yellow um, blend like that okay euro yellow again a very bright yellow so I'm just um, painting the corner of this part again with Uriel uh, see it's getting brighter now it's starting to pop a little bit <laughs> Uh, but it, if you keep adding layers and layers and layers of these bright colors, they will eventually become very bright. So I just added some water to the brush then, and I'm just again wet blending the yellow and the uh, darker yellow and the orange layers. It's quite watery now. Now the brightest yellow, which is Flash Git yellow. And again, I'm focusing on the edges because we want to build up a nice contrast between dark and bright. So I'm just focusing around the corners, the very tips. And I'm kind of blending it in areas. There we go. I'm drawing some little details like a stream of lava where it looks like it's moving around the bubble and so on.
it's quite thin paint it's a layer paint so it's kind of good in a way for blending I, I, I guess because it's not as you know hard uh, thick so you can really water it uh, here's the shade now it's, it's meant to be a yellow shade but it kind of looks orange which is fine um, if you add texture paints before you put the lava down if you use the shade now it will have lots of cool lumps and it will go into the recesses and that will make it even more 3d and like uh, like hot melted rock um, I'm keeping the shade closer to the ground and I'm going on the ground a bit to add a bit of OSL but I do occasionally go over the yellow parts but then I just simply wipe it with my finger there we go and I'm trying to add shadow to the bubble as well with this shade So now I'm using the uh, red ink, um, you can use any red ink, I use Caraber Crimson from Games Workshop. Uh, again this is to emphasize the shadow from uh, closer to the island you see here and also to dull down the OSL, uh, add a bit of red into it um, and you see it's slowly improving the contrast between bright yellow and dark orange. So it's dried a bit and now I'm going to add even more red ink, uh, red shade, sorry. And again I'm keeping as close to the island as possible. So it's dry now and I'm just using the flash kits yellow to um, highlight the corners now and because they were dulled down when I used the shade. So I'm, and here I'm kind of glazing it a bit. I'm glazing the yellow, the watered down yellow um, on the bubble to have a nice transition, a nice gradient. I'm trying to frame this um, base. Oh, also if you notice the base is black on the side now, it's a bit tidier looking. So at this stage you can add, um, you can paint the, the rim black. Because um, it, it's like a nice frame, it frames it in a nice uh, way, you see? So yeah, don't forget to paint the edges black. And continue highlighting the corners with yellow, flash gets yellow. I'm glazing the yellow here, it's watered down. Now I've got some more yellow on my brush and I'm just further highlighting the corners.
So this is my favorite part because this really starts to make the lava look really hot. So you add the white scar or any bright white paint just on the corners or in the areas where the yellow is the brightest. And again this frames your base as well, you can do it around the corners like I'm doing here. And yeah, you can see it's starting to look hot in it. It's a really nice trick. So I just added some water to my brush um, just to make it a little bit smoother. Okay, so that's done. And here we go, I've added even more water and I'm just blending, um, I'm glazing the white now onto the yellow just to add a nice gradient. Again, I have crimson, uh, caribou crimson red shade. I'm just going around the uh, orange areas closest to the island just to add that kind of depth. And I'm also adding a shadow underneath the bubble. I'm also painting a little bit on the, on the ground as well to help with the OSL uh, effect. So now I'm using the contrast paint, uh, the yellow, Iandan yellow, just to glaze over the yellow and the orange parts, just to build in a nice um, contrast, uh, sorry, a nice uh, transition between dark orange to lighter yellow, just to smooth it off. And then you can also pull it on top of the, the ground to add to the OSL. And now I'm just adding some more white scar to the corners to tidy up the areas and just to finish it off. It's very thin. Okay, and now it's done. Here are some photos of the finished model. I've used it um, to make Abaddon look more threatening and to add some drama to his base. So if you like what you see, then feel free to subscribe and like, and I'll be uploading more videos soon. And you can comment below what you want me to do. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Um,